Here are my favorite cameos to use with Ermac in Mortal Kombat 1 and why they're such a good fit for him. Some might even say these are the best cameos to use. And again, here's why. In no particular order, my first choice is Jax. Ermac has the most air combos out of any character. So using that Jax unblockable low pressure, if it hits your opponent, you basically have unlimited air combo potential from there like this. Not only that, but Jax allows you to combo off of a ton of special moves like your teleport, and even our back forward too. And even your back forward three. And you can do that in a combo like this. Comboing off of a special move, unblockable low pressure for air combos, Jax is a great choice. For many of the same reasons, I also love using Scorpion. First of all, the real overhead we really have with Ermac is our forward two option. So mix-up game can be a bit uh, hard, I guess, unless you're really good at doing the counters, of course, for the overheads there. But psyching out our opponent and making them think we're gonna do a low like this and then go for the overhead instead can make for some great mix-up game and of course combos. And then of course, using the fire breath, we can combo off of a ton of stuff like our teleport. Our back forward two. And of course our back forward three even. And if you ever want to reset the fight, of course you can use the full screen armored reset move with Scorpion, do Death's Embrace, and get ready to rock. Ermac benefits off of all the tools Scorpion offers. He's also a great choice. The one that you're going to see a lot of that I do agree with is Janet Cage. Again, mainly for the same reason. You can combo off your teleport. You can combo off your back forward too. You can combo off your back forward three. But one of the best reasons why you want to use Janet Cage with Ermac is his enhanced down back one, the ghost grab where they hang our opponent in the air. This is so much time to then get Janet Cage's stun double out here, sandwich your opponent, and now what are they going to do? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That requires you to really know Janet Cage, but that right there is so worth it. I might be a bit biased here, but one of my favorites to use is Chameleon. Ermac benefits off of all forms of Chameleon. We get an overhead option using Melina. We can combo off of all those same specials mentioned previously with Melina as well, like your teleport, your back forward two, your back forward three. Of course, we get ground combo extension using Jade. We can make ourselves projectile invulnerable. Now, quick side note, you can't use that projectile invulnerability move with Death's Embrace as well. They cancel each other out, so you're gonna choose one or the other, but still. And then we also have a ton of combo route options using Katana. Like, you can combo off of a grab. You can combo off of your back forward three. You can combo off of your down back one, not enhanced. You can even combo after your forward two without having to air cancel. So normally you'd have to do this. But using Katana, you can do this. So many options using Chameleon as a cameo for Ermac. He benefits off of all of her tools. She's one of my favorites for sure. Even though I think Ermac benefits off of a ton of cameos, these are, in my opinion, the best ones and my favorite. Let me know down below what cameos do you use for Ermac and why. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. And if you want to learn how to play Ermac, check out my Ultimate Beginner's Guide right here.